What's up, Internet? I'm Todd Awesome, and I'm going to show you how to get through this week's Nightfall. This week's Nightfall is on Sepicus Prime. The modifiers are epic, heavily shielded, and highly aggressive enemy appear in great numbers. Angry, minions of the darkness won't flinch even after massive damage. Light switch, minions of the darkness deal much more melee damage. Arc burn, arc burn damage from any source is greatly increased. And of course, the nightfall. If all the players die, all the players start back from orbit. Let's do it. Of course, a big thanks to Marowit and Ribshack2012 for helping me out this morning. You guys are great, except for you, Ribshack. For whatever reason, Bungie and their infinite wisdom doesn't start us at the beginning of this strike. We've got to blast all the way over to the refinery and fight our way in. Once you've cleared your way to the refinery, you've got to clear the actual refinery itself of the enemies that are hanging out there. Once you do that, hop over to this terminal and deploy Little Dinklage. Once Little Dinklage is doing his job, hop up to this back balcony. This gives you great, great cover while you're up there. You've got three layers of mesh that Little Dinklage needs to work his way through. So during that, of course, you have three waves to take out. Once you've taken out each wave, you'll see the mesh layers deactivated in the left-hand corner count up to three. Once you've made it all the way up to three, you can move on to the next part of this strike mission. It's not too difficult, but I would watch out for guys with swords coming up and killing you because remember, Light Switch will take you out right away with one melee hit, so watch out for that. Also, if you have any weapons that do arc burn damage, make sure you equip them. That arc burn damage goes both ways. They hurt you more, but you also do a lot more damage if you have that arc burn. So use the arc burn to take out the captains and you'll be good to go. Once you've cleared the refinery, make one more pass around to pick up any ammo that's dropped, reload your weapons, and move on through to cut through the fallen. Now the cut through the fallen area is actually very simple if you know where to go. Once you enter the open clearing, move off to your left. You'll see a building back there that you want to jump over to. Jump on it, hang out behind the air vents, and just shoot the legs of the tank. Now, if you're like Ribshack and decide you want to go off all rogue, you'll see what happens to him. If you notice in the right-hand corner of my screen, that flashing revive button there, yeah, he died. Didn't quite make it on his own. But if you hang out back here where we are, Marrow and myself, or hitherto known as the smart ones, you'll see that he doesn't even shoot at us. It makes this super easy to get through. Once you've killed the tank by shooting the legs, you can move through to the next section. This fight is also incredibly easy. Once you get to the Devil's Lair, just clear it of all the fallen that are hanging out there and then climb up the stairs to the upper left-hand corner. While you're up there, you can still clear out the rest of the guys that are hanging out. Once all of the guys praying homage to Sepicus Prime have died, you'll see Sepicus Prime shields drop. Then you are free to lay waste to his eye socket to do that critical damage. Again, if you have any arc burn weapons, use it now. I had an arc burn heavy machine gun, so I used that to great effect. Ribshack had an awesome sniper rifle that did arc burn damage that helped him own. I'm not sure what Marowit had, but he was doing some damage too. All right, guys, that's how you take out Sepicus Prime. Do your celebratory spin, run over his dead corpse to find your house banner or ether seeds, and sit back and wait for the rewards and drops to come in. If you enjoyed this week's walkthrough of the Nightfall Strike, make sure to follow me on Twitch and subscribe to my YouTube channel. You'll be glad you did. George Lucas gonna sue somebody!